EastEnders Kelly Bright shares joy over son's educational progress, celebrating his official educational health care plan. Meanwhile, Jesse Wallace flaunts a new haircut, and Diane Parrish praises co-star Lacey Turner amidst Denise's struggles. Fans react to a revolting scene in McClunkies. Kelly Bright, an EastEnder, provides a touching update about her kid. Star of EastEnders Kelly Bright provided a nice update regarding her baby with special needs. The 47-year-old actress Linda Carter, mother of 11-year-old Freddie, 6-year-old Jean, and 1-year-old Rudy, talked about the arduous process of obtaining an educational health care evaluation for her son. The former Strictly Come Dancing contestant shared a positive update in a recent post. I have been meaning to post a little update about our SEN slash ECHP journey on here for a while, she said at the outset, and I'm thrilled to inform you that, as of February 6, 2024, my son has officially received his educational health care plan. Actually, thrilled is such a terrible word to describe how great that is. Once the assessment actually started, the process was fairly swift. I felt like people were on our side and I wasn't having to fight as much as I had, she added. We were in a room together, at a meeting, and I realized at that particular moment that everyone there was supporting my son, and that was really significant. IT feels strange to post this because I know a lot of families are still fighting for their rights and are going through a very difficult time. That we have it makes me feel extremely fortunate, which is incorrect. Although I shouldn't, I consider myself fortunate. Although it's not a miracle cure, it really does assist. Fans showered Kelly with love, with at Murphy's underscore sketches responding, happy for you. Hmm. Keep sharing as well. Many will find hope in it. XXXXX, regarding Kelly's alter persona, fans have witnessed Linda's unsettling decline in the past few months after she killed Keanu Taylor on Christmas Day and her rapist Dean Wicks returned. To Linda Carter's dismay, Dean made his way back to the square in October of last year as Cindy Beale's business partner. She has endured daily suffering since his return, and Dean seems determined to ruin her life. After his return, Linda started abusing alcohol, and her drinking only worsened following Keanu Taylor's Christmas Day murder. Elaine Peacock, unable to handle her daughter's drinking, turned to her grandson Johnny for assistance. Johnny didn't hesitate to move from Manchester to London to be there for his mother. The EastEnders star stuns everyone with her brand new rock chick hairstyle. Iconic EastEnder Jessie Wallace debuted her most recent rock-inspired hairstyle. The 52-year-old actress Kat Slater is well known to her fans for always wearing her jet black hair, which she frequently styles in a traditional bob. The soap opera actress, however, made a different change and wrote, Thank you for my rock chick cut as the caption for the photo. I. Hmm. You. Civ16 was among the first to remark on the new appearance, commenting, Are you PHIL Lynn Fresh Cat? After finding out that her former partner Phil Mitchell had slept with Emma, Jessie's character Cat has been going through a difficult period over on the square. After that, she looked for a rebound and discovered Nish Panasar, whom she dumped. Kat was dealing with Karen Taylor at the same time he summoned the bravery to approach Phil. She had returned to Walford to look for Keanu, thinking that his disappearance was related to Phil and Sharon Watt's discovery that Albie wasn't his kid. When Kat visited the Mitchell home, she told Phil that she would like to give it another go. The ex-couple was aware of their strong working relationship, and Kat was always pleased with Phil's ability to interact with her kids. However, Kat's jealousy and worry over Sharon Watts persisted despite their bond and Phil's relationship with her sons. Karen informed Phil and Kat that she would be going before departing, but she also mentioned that she thought Sharon and Phil were somehow collaborating. Karen maintained that Sharon and Phil will always be deeply in love with one another, regardless of who their new partners are. She then savagely warned Kat that she shouldn't be Phil's sloppy seconds in order to drive a knife in. Which EastEnders star is one of the best actresses she has ever worked with, according to Diane Parrish. In EastEnders right now, Denise Fox is going through a really trying period as she tries to deal with Keanu Taylor's death. Denise's mental state has been gradually deteriorating over the last two weeks, as she experiences hallucinations of Keanu who has passed away. Amy Mitchell, her stepdaughter, is afraid for her health because of her illness. Desperate to figure out what's wrong with her, the girl approaches Stacy Slater with inquiries regarding bipolar disorder, pretending that it's for a school assignment. 
When Denise finally opens up about what she is seeing and hearing, Stacy discovers that there is much more to it than just Amy's worries. Denise is still troubled by visions of Keanu. Actress Diane Parrish said, Stacy is able to see what other people can't or are unwilling to see. She's also a little concerned that her behaviors may have contributed. She is concerned about Denise, and they were friends before she began her affair with Jack. I'm sure Stacy feels guilty and terrible about that. It's interesting because Denise was the one attempting to talk Stacy out of it right after Keanu passed away, fearing she might lose it. However, Stacy has emerged from the ashes to stand up for Denise at this point, and she takes action based on what she observes. Diane is happy that she and Lacey have had a lot more moments together than in past years because to this plot. Since we have been on the same program for almost 19 years, I obviously know and adore Lacey Turner, but her talent as an intuitive and beautiful actress has always amazed me. That was how she was from a very early age. The decisions Lacey makes captivate me. I genuinely think she's one of the best actresses I've ever worked with. She brings happiness, generosity, intuition, and honesty, she has my utmost admiration, and by writing this story, the six ladies and I have formed a close connection. It's a wonderful support system and sisterhood for all of us. I've always wanted to do things with Lacey, but I never knew what they could entail. I never imagined it would involve more than just the two of us being co-grandparents, but the way this has been thrown into it is really fascinating. While it's evident that Diane and Lacey get along like a house on fire, the same cannot be said for Stacy and Denise, in fact, despite Stacy's best efforts, their relationship remains damaged. Denise probably doesn't trust Stacy. Denise wants to escape what feels like torment, so I believe she is aware, albeit cautiously, that there may be some truth to what Stacy is saying. So, there is a brief moment of connection between Stacy and Denise, but she doesn't trust her, in her healthy or unhealthy state of mind. Things only worsen for Denise as she feels completely alone in her fight, and she finally scares Amy by demanding that she leave Walford. Soon after, the two are racing toward the woods because Amy won't let her go alone. Will disaster strike before they are found? Fans of EastEnders were disgusted by the gory scene, and sure, it is making our stomachs turn. Fans of EastEnders have witnessed an extra in McClunkey's engaging in a disgusting behavior that would surely result in the restaurant failing their next food hygiene check, leaving them appalled. Due to sports scheduling conflicts, the popular BBC serial drama premiered on BBC iPlayer yesterday morning. In tonight's episode, Denzel Danes went to the fast food restaurant to speak with Avani Nandra Hart after an altercation. Denzel has been training hard at the boxing den in an effort to better control his rage and strengthen his self-defense after he was attacked by a group of school bullies on Edward Road in a recent scenario. Yolanda Truman, a family friend, hurried to his aid, tripped over her shopping bag, and the mean teenagers fled. When a video of the fight appeared online the next day, Avani was made fun of for having witnessed Denzel and Yolanda lying defenseless on the ground. After snapping at Avani in the ring, he was instructed to go find her now that he was fully trained to try to work things out. The Jackson family's longtime tea time favorite, McClunkies, was the scene of the couple discussing their differences, but what really captured the attention of the public was the server in the background using some food tongs to itch his nose. Even though the imaginary restaurant doesn't serve actual food, many patrons used Twitter and X to express their shared dissatisfaction. Did anyone else notice the guy in McClunkey's wipe his nose with the food-slash-serving tongs, wrote a fan who posted the video. Yuck. Someone another retorted. L-M-A-O. Nah. Dot. Yolanda expressed her worries about Denzel later in the show when he disclosed that he was working out twice a day. Would this affect his kindness? Please subscribe our channel.